These are our dwarf mugo pines, also known as Swiss mountain pines. Our dwarf mugo pines will grow to about three foot high by a spread of five foot, with a moderate to slow growth rate of three to five inches per year. Its USDA plant hardiness is three through eight. Its exposure is a full sun to partial shade. It will adapt to almost any soils, even dry rocky soils. It's great for a rock garden or a small accent plant in a walkway. It's tough, but it does get the red-headed pine saw fly, which can denude it. So you have to watch for that. If you have any more questions about Mugo Pines, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We do have these available at our Fountainville location on Route 313 near Doylestown, PA. Thank you. This is our Shamrock Inkberry Holly. It's about four foot high and four foot wide and at its mature height. It likes sun. It can grow in partial shade. Its USDA zone is five or higher. It's a desirable, versatile plant for your landscape. It can be used in gardens for mass plantings, topiaries, or hedges. It takes pruning well. It has small, glossy leaves and a naturally dense, compact, oval form. This holly is very easy to raise and presents few problems in the landscape. This is a native plant but it is not reliably hardy in colder zones than zone five. At Highland Hill Farm, we grow many kinds of shrubs and trees. We have both evergreens and deciduous plants for sale. We can deliver and plant for you. We also have a number of seedlings and young transplants, which we sell mail order. You can call us at 215-651-8329 for trees and shrubs. Thank you. Decisions, decisions. What should I plant? Should I plant a green giant or should I plant a Leland cypress? Both trees are excellent trees for the landscape. Both trees make great screening trees, but there are differences. This is a green giant <clears throat> planted next to Leland cypresses. They were all planted at the same time and the green giant here shows a much denser, fuller conformation than the Leland cypresses. Now these are all planted in a heavy shaded area with a full canopy above them. But they do get about two to three hours in the morning of morning sunlight. But you can see that the Green Giant is a superior tree to the Leland Cypress in the shade. These Lelands have some yellowing on the inner needles and that it was in part caused by stress that they received from last winter. Last winter we had an exceptionally cold winter and many of the Leland Cypresses burned over somewhat. These had some burned and they have recovered to some degree but the Green Giant had no damage to it whatsoever. These plants have been in here for about two years. They were planted when they were three foot high, and right now they're between five and six foot high. And so you can see, if you're gonna plant in a shady location, that the Green Giant is a better plant than the Leland Cypress. We at Highland Hill Farm grow thousands of Leland Cypresses and Green Giants. And we do recommend both of them for shaded locations, not full shade, but shaded locations. They need a few hours sun a day. But you, as you can see from this video, the Green Giant is a superior plant than the Leland Cypress. At Highland Hill Farm, we barter for all kinds of items, whether it be PVC fittings or tires or fencing or bicycles or car parts. We will try and barter for what we need by using our trees and shrubs. And here's how we do it. When we want something, we create a YouTube video. And that video describes what we want to acquire through a barter. We then create a web page for the item that we want, and we embed the video from YouTube 
on that web page. Once we have our web page made and the embedded video on the web page created, we're now ready to start advertising on Craigslist. Craigslist is widely viewed and affords us a great opportunity to advertise our trees and shrubs in trade for the items that we need. We seem to never run out of items that we want, and we seem to never run out of trees because we keep growing more. So it's a great way for us to market our trees and find new customers for our tree farm. To give you an example, last year we were advertising a barter trade for people to come and hunt groundhogs on our property. They had to bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post and then they could hunt for the day. Well, we had a gentleman come down and he hunted a few times. He shot a few groundhogs and he was a real happy camper and went home with his groundhogs. But this year he came back and he just bought 15 of our Norway spruces and we will be delivering and planting them in the next few days. So, though we advertised for a groundhog hunt, we ended up selling 15 trees to one person. Not bad for a barter. This is Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. We grow trees and shrubs. And one thing we're not afraid of losing is our business model. And this is a post that's part of our business model. As strange as this may sound, we let people come and hunt here. All we ask is they bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, a 12 foot post, and then they can hunt for the day. The reason we do that is we want to protect our trees and shrubs from marauding deer. So we're building a deer fence on a bunch of different farms that we own and people come and bring us a post and then they hunt for the day. Now if they can't bring us a post, we usually find something else like some, some hose that we could use or maybe a hose reel like a used hose caddy or something like that. But generally speaking, we let people hunt for the day and if they get a deer, they get three free days. If you get two deer in any part of the season, you can hunt the rest of the season for free and you get 25 worthless US dollars. Now who would want to steal that business model? Well, we also have other things that we do here at Highland Hill Farm. We own a number of properties out west where we let our customers go looking for Indian artifacts, dinosaur bones, and fossils. We also have places for people to come and go bird watching. And we also allow people to go hiking on our properties. So if you want to, you know, come to see Highland Hill Farm and see our business model, I'm sure you're not going to take it home with you, but you might take home a plant or two that you could improve your backyard with. So just give us a call at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA at 215-651-8329. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll